So you've received a prophetic word. It's fabulous. Now, what do you do with it? So I want to give you some steps that you can take practical tips on how to activate a prophetic word spoken over you. Or maybe you had a prophetic dream. The first thing is you're going to want to confirm it. Ask the Lord to confirm it into you in your spirit and through his word. Why do we do this? Because God promised in his word that he will confirm his promises to you. He will confirm it. Now, sometimes when you get a prophetic word, there's that instantaneous like, oh, that's for me. Sometimes, though, people speak out of turn when they they're, think they're delivering a prophetic word, but really they're just delivering their own arrogance or pride in wanting to look a certain way. <laughs> and this is why we need to confirm it through God. The second step that you can take is to water it. You water the prophetic word. What do I mean when I say water it? I mean you need to speak life over it. Speaking life over the word is going to help you keep it at the, the forefront of your mind. Remember when Mary was given the prophetic um, notion from the angels that she was going to give birth to the Messiah? She pondered it in her heart, the Bible said. She thought about it constantly. She was mulling it over and giving it deep thought. So I want you to water it, to think about it, to write it in your journal, to speak it out, to declare God's word over it. The third thing that you can do is to steward it. Now, this is the tricky one because the devil comes to still kill and destroy. He doesn't want you to reach your purpose or your the plans of God in your life. He wants to see you fail and flounder and never get, get up. But God has a plan for you. But the reason I'm telling you this is because you have to be a warrior. You have to steward the word of God that was spoken over you like you're on the front lines of the army. <laughs> Because it is a battle and the devil's going to constantly come and try to steal it away from you and say, did God really say that? Does he, would he really call you to this? You're not qualified for that. You get the picture? So be careful to steward the prophetic word. The last one is to act on it. Now, Acting on it is one of the greatest pieces of all because for some reason, a lot of Christian people think that if it's just, if it's God, it's just going to happen. That is not realistic, number one. And number two, it's not biblical. God's word is very, very clear that there is a action step that has to happen because faith without works is dead. Okay. Remember when the prophet Samuel was given a word from God about David becoming the king? Imagine if David, if Samuel was told this prophetic word by God and he did nothing with it. He said, oh, okay, so David's going to be king. Great. Let's let God make him the king. And he did nothing with it. Okay. This is unfortunately what happens in our world these days. But what happened with that story we know is that Samuel acted on it. The Bible declares that he took the horn of oil after he heard the prophetic instruction from the Lord and he anointed David as king. And as soon as that anointing oil came upon David, from then on, he moved in the power of the Holy Spirit. I mean, come on. You've got to take a step towards this relationship you have with Jesus. He's not going to do all the work while you sit on the couch and eat bonbons, even though those are so good. You've got to do some work. You have to exercise your faith like a muscle. Do the spiritual weightlifting, okay? Now, I want to, 
I want to share with you a quick example of kind of a prophetic word that I'm literally walking out right now in in October of 2022 a prophetic word was spoken over me and as soon as it happened it was like whoa I know that's for me and it resonated in my spirit because it was things that I had been praying about in my own quiet time with the Lord and I had been journaling over them. So I went home and I began praying to the Lord, was this you God? Like what? This is crazy because it, it was big and, and the Lord confirmed it to me in his word. And then he gave me a strategy. He said, Randy, write it in your journal. So I wrote them down like little bullet points and I declare them every single day, every single day. <laughs> like I told you, there's going to be a battle. And the only way you're going to win the battle is if you are consistently fighting the battle. You can't be haphazardly going up against your enemies and expecting to win. You have to have the right tools and you have, the, have to have the consistent behavior. So I had every single day, confessed it out every day, confessed it out. And then what he told me to do was act it out. What steps are you going to take? So when I say act it out, it can look different for you than it looked for me. It's literally unfolding right before my eyes. I'm literally walking in it. It's amazing. And so the, the last step that he gave me was, you know, take those action steps. What can you be doing this month to move closer towards that dream? I want to encourage you that if you get a prophetic word spoken over you, it is not an accident. And God is very intentional. He wants to show you mile markers along the way that you're on the right path, that you're moving in the right direction, and He will instruct you along the way. And if you will get this soldier mentality about you, like I don't care if I, I, I don't care if I have to sweat it out, <laughs> I'm gonna win this battle in the spirit realm. And you just get that mentality about you that I'm not quitting no matter what happens. You will see the prophetic dream or word come to fruition. Just like with Samuel when David was anointed as king. If he hadn't spoke up, if he hadn't done something, if he hadn't anointed him, where would King David be? A lot of times that's the lies that we, we, I hear from Christians. They'll say, oh, I heard a prophetic word long time ago, or I had this prophetic dream long time ago. But you've got to ask the Lord, what is your, what is your uh, revelation of it? What do I do with it? Lean not on your own understanding, but ask God. He has the answer for you. So I hope that you are entertaining prophetic words. I hope you're receiving them. I hope that you are receiving prophetic dreams and you are entertaining them before the spirit of the living God in a biblical manner, knowing that God speaks to us. Sometimes it's a, a great message. Sometimes it's a warning message. It, it can vary in different ways. But let me tell you this. God is always speaking. He's always speaking. The question for you today is what are you doing with what he's telling you? Or what he spoke over you? Or what you dreamt last night that was from God? You have a step to take. An action step to activate the word of God, the prophetic word. So I hope that 
You are inspired today to get up and light the fire and light that match up underneath you and get moving. <laughs> Move towards the things that God has for you to do. Life is so short. We don't have time to waste. And if you came across this video, it's not an accident. God does everything strategically and very well planned and thought out. Maybe you don't know him yet. Maybe you don't know Jesus yet. But maybe he's put something on your heart. You've been kind of nudged towards the idea of Jesus as Lord and Jesus as Savior. And your life has just been upside down. Today, you can choose to serve him as Lord and Savior. It will be the best decision you've ever made in your life. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of our sin for everyone, whether you're a Christian or not, we have to pay a wage for our sin and it's death. And if you don't have Jesus, it's death away from God. It's death in eternity and in hell from God. And I don't want that for you because Jesus came so that you don't have to do that. He paid the price for your sin. He will redeem you. He will transform you. And he will be your Lord and Savior. And if you want to make him your Savior and Lord today, just put a comment below and I am happy to pray for you and send you a believer's guide, a new believer's guide. And I want to say thank you to those who always watch my videos. Thank you guys. Share this video. We have to tell people about Jesus. We are commanded as believers to share the gospel. And you can share that just by clicking the share button and you helped pass on the gospel. Simple as that. So I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for your prayers and your support to this ministry. Um, you know, everything that you have done to help me get to where I am, it's all a group effort. So thank you so much. I am honored to serve alongside of you. So come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. I'll see you next time.